Hey guys, if you're preparing for the USMLEs and are struggling to use your world and just, you know, are looking for a foolproof way of using your world most effectively and efficiently for your prep, then you are in the right place because stick around and I'll go over just that. So hi, I'm Rashi. I am a doctor from India and I'm currently on my USMLE journey. And on this channel, we talk about everything USMLE. Today, we'll dive deep into how to use your world to its full potential and do best on a USMLEs. So let's get started. I'll divide this video into two segments. The first seg segment will talk about the mindset and the approach. And in the second segment, I'll go into the exact strategy with the examples of how exactly I use Google. So let's start with the first one. I know you've heard this, but Uworld is a learning tool. Uworld is not a testing tool. It took me quite a bit of time to figure this out actually, because I had grown up and I had always studied with this mindset where you first of all read textbooks and after you are done reading, you then move on to your testing resources and then test, your, test yourself, okay? And that's towards the end of your preparation. USMLE prep works a little bit differently. And I think this was the best change in the way I learn that I've seen. And I think this change from sort of this passive learning model that I used to follow like almost all my life and then a shift towards this active learning model has been great and I have seen so much difference in the way I retain and the way I can reproduce information. So yeah, that you need to start using UWorld from the first day of your prep. So the day you decide to start preparing for your USMLEs is the day you start using UWorld. Now, something that really holds people back and has held me back from, you know, starting with a testing resource first is the fact that when you're beginning the scores in your world won't probably look that good. It's going to change like depending upon how strong your base is. But when you're just starting out, you're still getting used to, you know, how your world questions and answers work. Your scores aren't going to look great. And this is one piece of advice that I received from a mentor when I was just, you know, starting preparing is just like put a sticky note when the U world, uh, you know, the U world score comes. Don't look at it when you're just starting your prep. That is could be a little discouraging for you. Like it, it was definitely it's it was so disheartening because I'm like, what did I study for the whole day when I was, I'm just getting like a 60, 65% on my U-World. So, but you just have to remember that, you know, this score is not your real score. It's not going to represent your real score in your real exam. And this is just you learning your concepts and you building your knowledge base. Let's move on to the second part of the video where we talk about the exact strategy. I am basing it off of the rationale that um, your world is made to simulate and all of your practice is made to simulate your real exam and the earlier you get used to the real exam pattern the more comfortable you are going to be on the day of your exam now if you've never written a USMLE exam before or any exam similar to this like I never wrote an exam like this before step one so getting used to this pattern takes a little bit of time and you have to give yourself time and your world is going to do just that for you I started by using UWorld first of all in tutor mode just for like 10% or 15% of the questions just enough to get me a good knowledge base and so that I could feel confident and just brush over all these topics. I never did UWorld in system mode though I just always had questions on random because that's how they are showing up on the exam right. So doing it in system like system wise is not going to be that helpful at least it was not that helpful for me i did it random and tutor in the beginning and then once i had built up built up a little bit of my knowledge then i moved on to my time mode and again the blocks were random 40 questions just like the real exam how many blocks should you do each day 
if you're just like starting with your prep maybe doing one block or two blocks a day should be good and you must be thinking okay that's just like 40 questions or 80 questions but it's not just solving the question questions that's going to take time because for 40 questions you're going to be done with them in like an hour and 80 questions that's just like two hours so it's nothing but it's the review of the questions that takes a lot of time for example when i was just like starting out it it took me like three to four hours to review each block of ul questions that i did to just go over the answers it took me three to four hours and you must be thinking okay like that's way too long uh you know to just go over the right and wrong answers but like ul does a pretty pretty good job of giving you such detailed explanations for every single option that's there that it's just like a thorough revision of the topic how i went about reviewing my questions is that i treated my right answers and my wrong answers equally so i would give as much attention and time to my right answers as i would give to these wrong answers and the questions that i got wrong and i'll explain why so if you've you know ever solved a you will you will block and just gone over their explanations you'll see that they have these like big explanation for every single uh, option that they've given and they explain why that option is wrong okay and even if you know why that option is wrong and why the option that you've marked is right like sure uh, i got like 60 70 percent of the questions right and that means that i knew why those answers were right most of the time but sometimes when you come to these answers you sort of think in a different sort of point of view and still come to the right answer and uh, the right approach to the question was something else and reviewing your right answers is going to rectify that it's going to make you develop the right sort of thought patterns and approach towards the your world questions the ultimate goal of this your world practice is to you know develop these thinking patterns that when you see a question and when you read those options you go like okay step one step two step three step four like this is how i come to the answer because you will questions are multi-layered so you'll need to develop that approach and if you've never like if i was so new to this approach that it develops it developed for me question by question and another reason for you know just reading these questions so thoroughly is because uh, uh okay i'll explain this with an example for a question the answer is uh, rheumatoid arthritis and you know why it is rheumatoid arthritis and the rest of the answers are like sle sarcoidosis etc now when you go over those other options as well you read a little bit about sle oops you read a little bit about sle you read a little bit about sarcoid and the next time you see a question that's related to sle maybe you'll be able to solve it based on the fact that you read about it in the in this question where the sle was not even the answer okay so that's why reviewing your world takes so much time and it's so so important about making notes now so the way i made notes differed so much in my step two prep and my step one prep because when i was preparing for my step two i had the knowledge of my step one already in my step one, I went the traditional way. I had like a one notebook for all of my subjects. And then, you know, I just like whenever I got a question wrong, I wrote a sentence or two about the concept that I didn't know and like sorted them subject wise so that I could revise a notebook in the last month of my prep. And this is I did this because this is how I was, you know, I have been preparing all my life for exams. In my step two, I did something different. I took all of my notes, okay, maybe most of my notes in your world because it, it's just so much quicker, it's just so much convenient and it saves so much time. Your world has this feature called the your world notebook where you can essentially just copy paste information from your your world question, okay? And then it, it even allows you to like paste pictures from the your world question. And in addition to this, you can just make flashcards with two clicks and illustrate and then sort them into decks so i used all this 
as a replacement for my traditional notes coming on to a few mistakes that i made during my prep now first is procrastinating reviewing my blogs don't be like me don't do this because by the time you would have moved to this blog you would have already forgotten what the questions were and how exactly what like what was your approach to come to this answer and that takes away the whole point of developing those you know thought processes and those networks of coming to the right answer in your world so don't be like me review your blogs on the same day mistake number 2 is me wanting to do like a entire second pass of your world and i don't know why but i had this i had this thing in my mind when i finished doing your world for the first time that okay i have to do it the second time for me to remember all the questions and the concept but um I didn't find it effective because I tried doing it for my step 1 and then in my step 2 that was not even my plan. What I did instead of like the entire second pass of your world is from the beginning I marked the questions that I found were tricky or the questions that I got wrong because I did not know those concepts well. Went ahead read read about them for from first aid the explanation and everything but still I marked them. if i didn't know them and then by the end of my first pass i had a good chunk of questions uh with the concepts that i didn't know that well ready to be revised and i did a second part pass of only those questions and that made my rev- revision so so efficient because i was only revising the questions and the topics that i didn't know and if you worried that you know it will take away from the general revision it won't because you will be doing your nbmes and your uwss and that's going to cover like almost all topics but for the second pass you know just stick to the questions and the topics you don't know and that's the approach that i find the most useful because the second pass of your world would take so so long that you know it would be just very inefficient to do that during your dedicated period because that would leave a uh, no time for you to focus on your nbmes your uwss and you know just revising the notes that you made so we're coming to the end of the video and i'm just going to uh, summarize what we talked about first of all your world is a learning resource or treat it like one you know start using your world from your day one then uh, you know review your questions the same day as you solve them make your notes efficiently use flash cards use notebook and you know so that it will help you revise better and most of all don't go behind the second pass of your world uh, if you've solved it once and if you re- if you've reviewed it well trust me you're going to uh, remember the concept in the exam and you'll do just fine on the day of the exam i hope you found it helpful and if you did give it a like and subscribe because i will be making more content related to usmle prep and you my use experience and you know just talking about my whole usmle journey and the insights of it uh, in detail on the channel so i hope to see you in the next video bye bye